Hi! Today is first day, July 27th, 2017, and this is a Sweet Speaks. And, uh, well, roughly an hour ago, uh, Sweden's Prime Minister Stefan Löfven held, held a press conference, and uh, I would like to comment on that a little. Uh, so, Prime Minister Stefan Löfven arrived to the press conference in Stockholm 10.49 a.m. Swedish time. Uh, Swedish time is the same as Central European time. Uh, and uh, he announced uh, the following. He announced that Morgan Johansson will become Minister for Justice and Internal Affairs. He loses uh, migration because he was previously Minister for Justice, including migration. Annika Strandhäll becomes Minister for Social Affairs. Uh, Thomas Enerot becomes Minister for Infrastructure. He, is, uh, he was, until, until right before the press conference, leader of the parliamentarian group of the, of the Social Democrats. And uh, he replaces Anna Johansson. Uh, Helian Fritsson becomes Minister for Migration. Uh, she gets migration from Morgan Johansson uh, because uh, well, Stefan Löfven thought the workload would be too much if Morgan Johansson would have justice, internal affairs and migration. And Peter Hultqvist stays as Minister for Defense. Uh, Anna Johansson resigns. She was one of the ministers uh, who the opposition said that they wanted a vote of no confidence. Anders Ygeman, the other minister where there was a question of a vote of no confidence, uh, he resigns. He is. He was until uh, until an hour ago, minister for home affairs. Stefan Löfven proposed that he could uh, become new leader of the parliamentarian group of the Social Democrats, and then he would replace uh, Thomas Enerot. Uh, however, Peter Hultqvist, who was the third one that the opposition won once gone, he stays. Uh, Gabriel Wikström, who is minister for public health, who has been on sick leave for a few months. He resigns, and uh, the situation now is that two of the three ministers that the opposition wanted gone will be gone. But the third one, Peter Hultqvist, is staying, so there will still be an issue on whether there will be a vote of no confidence against him. I suppose there will be. Uh, so we'll see what happens with that. Uh, some of the things Stefan Löfven said during the press conference, well, he said for, he said that he is taking responsibility for the country. And he also accused the opposition of having a complete lack of judgment through their, well, through raising the issue of a vote of no confidence. And uh, concerning or regarding what's going on now with Defense Minister Peter Hultqvist, uh, Prime Minister Stefan Löfven said that, uh, that the parliament gets to take their responsibility. They get to vote on whether wh whether they have confidence or not for the for the minister for defense Peter Hultqvist, uh, I don't know how this is going to play out, because I I sense that Stefan Löfven uh, sort of gave away the two most uh, the, the the two most uh, Im unpopular ministers, and he saved the third one, and really I don't think it was a smart move of the opposition to to go after the Minister for Defense, because the Minister for Defense, Peter Hultqvist, what should he do? Should he go to the media and tell about the security leaks? I don't think so. He should go to the Prime Minister, of course, and then it's the job of the Prime Minister to fix things and also to publicly state that we, we messed up and we're sorry. Uh, what I think the opposition should do, I don't think it's going to happen. Okay, let, let's clarify. I highly suspect that the Center Party are going to back down now. I highly suspect that they will not vote uh, on no confidence for Peter Hultqvist. But I could be wrong. I hope I'm wrong. Uh, and what I want them to do, but I don't think that's going to happen, but what I want the Swedish opposition parties to do, if they want to be a real opposition and just not just a puppet opposition like they've been since December 2014, I want them to raise a vote of no confidence towards the entire government. Not just one or two or three ministers, but the entire Swedish government. Uh, so that uh, Löfven would have to resign and the new government would have to be formed. Either from well, the parliamentarian situation as it looks like right now, 
or uh, through a new election. That's what I think they should do. I am not holding my breath though. But this will be interesting. We'll see what happens. Uh, we'll see how the opposition will react to, to Prime Minister Levin's uh, press conference. And I am going to follow that and see what's going on. And uh, when something happens, I will comment on that. Uh, so that's really all I have to say about this right now. Uh, I would like to thank the people who are supporting this channel. Through prayers, through Patreon, through PayPal. That's all greatly appreciated. Uh, and there are tiers for patrons and donors. And for information about that, look in the description box below. And if you like this channel, please subscribe so you don't miss anything. Please share my videos on social media, on Facebook and Twitter and other social media that allows you to share. Uh, if you like this video, please like it. If you got something to say, if you agree, if you disagree. If you're Prime Minister Stefan Löfven, comment below. Uh, and of course, I would also like to encourage you to support this channel. And I will include all the necessary information in the description box below. This is Oswee Speaks. Have a nice day.